I came across this video where someone built a heart house in Bloxburg. This was made by Insomnia. So I got inspired to make a pumpkin shaped house. I have done one of these videos before where I made a four leaf clover house, I'm pretty sure. And I also made a heart restaurant like a few Valentine's Day back, but I haven't done one in a while. So it is Halloween, it is fall time. So we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a little pumpkin house. So of course the first thing that we have to do is build the pumpkin. And uh, this is gonna be a little tricky. Okay, so let's go to make the stem first. I think this is a, oh, nope, that's, okay. Okay, that could be a stem. Is that, is this stem too fat? You know what, I think it's a little too big. Maybe we'll make it a little bit smaller. How about we do like a two and then a sideways like that and boom. Okay, so that's a cute little dainty stem here. And then we wanna build the pumpkin itself. So how about we get like two like so, and then we curve it inwards. We go down three perhaps, and then maybe curve it back. This house might be a little too small. Okay, how about we make it a little bit bigger um, just because I don't think we're gonna fit anything. So maybe let's do three. And then of course slant a couple, boom. We might need to slant two actually just because. Okay, no, that's a little too big. Guys, I'm having a sizing issues. Okay, we might just go with a small dainty house because I think it just looks cuter. Um. I'm maybe a little too small. Is this too small? You know what? We're gonna go with it. Okay, so we have our pumpkin base here, and now we can build ourselves a house. So we have to first of all split the house down into rooms and stuff. I think this little area will be perfect for a little bathroom. So we're gonna split it to a little master bedroom here. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Boom. So this will be a bedroom with a little bathroom here. We'll close it off as well. And then this will be the main area. So maybe we'll put a kitchen over here and then a little actually we'll put a living room here maybe and then a kitchen on this side we'll have like a slanted door so we'll have a door on this side perfect okay let's go ahead and get our door and of course i'm gonna go with a suburban family house style that's farmy you know farmy so i can put like halloween decorations and fall decorations i think it's gonna be really cute so i'm gonna go with a traditional door here a front door and then we'll use a traditional door for this bedroom which i will put in this area sure and then we'll put a another door right there we'll go ahead and use a different door for the bathroom just because it is a bathroom so we'll use the standard door and then let's go ahead and add some flooring i love some planks so we're gonna use hurricane gray and some planks which is usually what i use if you guys ever wondered that's what i use so i'm gonna use that and then for the bathroom i will add some marble instead because i do like the marble in there with like a little white tint there we go and then the be uh, the bedroom actually let's go ahead and add some carpet just to give that cozy vibe um since i am going for like a fall theme let's go ahead and make it brown actually i don't really know if i like uh, maybe we'll go with brown sure why not and then for the walls, I am just going to go with white and then we'll put some stuff on top of them. Um, just because the white gives a nice little base and I like adding decoration. So um, don't really need too much on the walls. I mean, of course, we're going to repaint it if I choose otherwise. But for now, we'll do that. And then we'll also paint the outside while we're at it um, to a little orange because it is a pumpkin after all. Well, the stem has to be brown. So we'll go ahead and make the stem here real quick. And then to have a little bit more dimension on the walls, we'll add some more molding if i could find it wall trim is that what it is yes okay so for the wall trim i will add all this wood paneling um just because it reminds me of fall you know i don't know why but it just does so we're gonna add all that paneling we're gonna leave it brown um just because uh, you know it's the fall vibes i feel like it's gonna be like a spooky little house you know and then we'll also add a crown molding to the top here i probably should have colored before pasting them all but it's fine we'll just color them right now and i'm gonna color all of the uh the molding here to brown just because that is the vibe that we're going with. And I mean, the white just clashes with the white already. So too much white. Not good. And since that is brown, I might go ahead and change the doors uh, to brown as well, maybe. Yeah, okay. And then let's do a wood texture for that just so it matches a little bit better. And then we'll make the door handles white instead of black. I think that will work a lot better. So that's what we have going on. And of course we need some windows before anything. So let's add some windows. Uh, let's add some traditional double windows. I don't think they'll fit well they sort of fit eh maybe we'll find some smaller ones let's see i do want to use the traditional ones though so maybe we have you know what we'll use them why not and it like overlaps so it looks good you know what actually i really like that okay we're gonna use these traditional windows uh let's add one to the bedroom here and then we can possibly add another one right there this is gonna be like the kitchen area so i don't know if i should add one there uh maybe one in the corner i think that would look really cute and 
yeah, we'll add more windows if I need to, but I think I need to add some stuff before that. So this is what I have so far, and I feel like the white walls are kind of clashing, and uh, you know what? Since this is gonna be like a spooky house, I feel like maybe we should add some green stripes. It gives the spooky haunted vibe. I might change, I'm gonna change the doors as well. So the outside is a pumpkin, but inside it's gonna be a spooky little house. I think that is the vibe I am leaning towards. So let's go ahead and change the doors as well. Uh, to we could do brown like a different color brown maybe are we gonna do a different color green change the material real quick just so I can see the tints I don't know if I like the green not gonna lie okay actually that that orange is oh, the nougat color is actually really nice okay we'll use the nougat color okay not too shabby give me the spooky vibes okay and now let's go ahead and make the kitchen so first and foremost let's gotta get ourselves a little fridge we'll put it in a little corner right there um, let's get a stove and then last but not least we need some counters so let's get the counter right there let's get a counter right here and then i want a little dining table so we're gonna get a dining table um should i get the like the festive one just so it gives like you know the spooky vibes i feel like that'll be fun okay let's do like a spooky vibe uh, festive table because it gives you know whatever I think of haunted places it has the the thing on top the tabletop whatever the thing is you know you know what I mean I can't talk so let's go ahead and get a chair I don't know why I typed a table but let's get some chairs here we'll get some elegant chairs for this uh, this table here we'll scooch it up just a little bit actually I think it looks cute there so let's do that beautiful and then let's get some carpets uh, uh, just because it's a little bit empty here and to bring in some more of the nougat color I added some nougat things over there um and yeah looking pretty good I feel okay I think I need some uh what do you call it cabinets so let's grab some cabinets here let's get some rustic cabinets I want the tall rustic cabinets actually where are those that's tall shaker ones no where are the tall right yeah, there they are I found them so we'll add these right here okay so I changed up the colors a little bit just so I can match a little bit better so this is what we got going on um and so far i pretty much really like it um i think i'm gonna add some paintings in here we'll put some like creepy paintings i think that would look really cool so we'll add one of these type of paintings because you know they give like the haunted vibe i don't know why but they just do so we'll add two right there and then we'll add one right there of course then we also have this wall here so let's add a painting there and yeah looking good okay and then on this side i want to add a little couch and stuff like that so let's add those little new ones from the hairpin collection i'm pretty sure and yeah this one okay so let's do that one right here in the corner we'll also add like a little bookshelf maybe for the creepy vibes uh probably this this one i mean this looks more like a i don't know I don't know if I like that actually. You know what? We'll keep it. Okay, let's add, let's delete the painting. I thought the painting would be a good idea there, but I think I like the bookshelf better. And then we'll also add a little carpet. Oops, did not want to do that. I wanted to copy that. And we'll add a little carpet right there as well. Okay, so now we have all of that. I think I just want to decorate. I don't want to put too much everywhere. Um, I just want to decorate a lot. So I'm gonna get some pumpkins here. Uh, let's get some tabletop pumpkins for the table here. Um, we could also add some pumpkins in this location. Uh, I want it to look a little bit more haunted as well so we might add a bunch of spider webs and things like that but we have candles for the lights here we got some pumpkin candles a lot of candle right here as well i also forgot the microwave so let's go ahead and grab a microwave real quick there we go and for more spooky vibes we do need lights and i think i'm just gonna go ahead and add chandeliers because chandeliers always remind me of spookiness i don't know why but they just do we'll also add a chandelier in the bathroom why not so we have some lights everywhere and you know what this is gonna be a crime scene so we're gonna add some blood everywhere Everywhere, um for funsies you know this is a crime scene now so we'll add some blood there we go some bright red blood you know not too bright not too bright okay we'll do that let's go ahead and put some more blood over here maybe some there maybe some right here you yeah, know you can just never have too much blood maybe there's a little too much blood but um something like that so and let's go back to special and see all the other stuff we can find uh maybe add a little cauldron in the kitchen so we have a cauldron mixing up some blood you know and uh, let's see what else we can find that is creepy i want creepy things maybe some skulls Ooh, skulls is a good idea let's add some skulls everywhere maybe one on the table hmm there's a lot of stuff on the outside so we could i don't really want to decorate the outside 
side though. So I think that's Gucci and of course we have that spider web. So we'll add some spider webs and then we will decorate the bedroom, which probably won't have much. I just want to add like a little desk and a bed probably. But we have a lot of spider webs, so that's good. And also we'll go ahead and add another window right here because that's where probably where the bed's going to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, uh, let's make the bedroom real quick. So let's get a bed. I might go with the traditional item just because that gives more spookiness. I don't think that one actually does. Let's go with the, let's go with log. I don't know. The log just reminds me of, ooh, that comes out that log just reminds me of hauntedness i don't know every time i think of like halloween and stuff like that i think of cabin in the woods and stuff so just reminds me of all that i don't know if this is gonna fit guys i might need to have a smaller bed okay we're going to the smaller bed version uh we'll also add a little closet we'll add a closet right there and then i also wanted a little desk so we'll add a desk because you know what the story is uh a man writing a book lived here but he got murdered because his book was about a employee and he didn't like it so he boom that's the story of this house now and of course we need some more blood and then we'll also add some papers here so we're not gonna have a laptop or anything just papers just because he was writing a book so that is the story we'll just add a bunch of papers everywhere you know boom 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 bunch of papers we're writing that book you know and then we'll also add a painting right probably add two so let's add let's add two can we fit two we can fit two then we also have this wall on this side um i actually might get the other decal we might get this uh transparent decal here and we'll add some blood splatter i don't know if this is gonna work but i have an idea and i hope it does work um so i'm just gonna make it bigger and when we change everything we will change this to some blood splatter and hopefully we'll so we have that all going on and then of course we have the bathroom which should be simple i just want to add a little toilet in here so we'll add a little la porcelaine you know what let's add the law porcelain like kind of everywhere but we'll add that there and then we will add a little shower that does not have a shower you know what it's a two-in-one there we go so that is the bathroom and of course we gotta add some spider webs to the bedroom so let's do that real quick just two probably will fit just because i do want blood splatter on this one so i don't want to get too ruined and then we can probably add some garland i think that will be really fun to use so let's do that let's add some gar probably add some to this door and maybe over here with all the paintings and then maybe one right there so that's pretty good and i think that's again i don't want to overdo it with all the decorations just because it is supposed to be like haunted you know and i feel like decorations makes it a little bit childish so i'm gonna go change the paintings to all that and then we will have a little tour of our little pumpkin house okay i've changed all the paintings and here we go so we're gonna try to find some transparent blood and see if this works okay so there's a couple of blood splatters i want like more splatter though maybe that one but let's see if there is a better one uh oh maybe this one oh my gosh it works perfect okay so now we have some blood splatter on the wall and then over here we have pictures of things that he's like writing his novel about so there's a texas chainsaw massacre which is like a movie um a haunted house so he was like trying to write like a creepy movie a book and then i just have some creepy pictures right here so that is basically my pumpkin house here it is the outside and then on the inside we have all these spooky vibes i actually really like it it's super cute super spooky um and fun to look at we have also a blood splatter and then a simple little bathroom so there we have it we have built a pumpkin house in Bloxburg. but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe do all the jazz go check out insomnia as well um i think they made like a couple of videos about this i'm not too sure but i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys later with another one bye